Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here today with a uh, quick little review on a little something I've wanted to go over. So this is the BDS Single Magazine Pouch. It's got the... where'd it go? Huh. It's got the elastic retention here, and it uses the notable BDS little flippy tab uh, attachment system. This uses 2x2 two two, as far as your pals molly go. And yeah, as you can see, best part, absolute ever, made in the United States. So you'd be surprised how difficult it can be to get quality. Now this is the nylon version, and bear in mind the nylon's not the only one. Now when I initially bought my first one, it was actually made of a special fire retardant cloth. However, it was $8, and this is closer to $15, $16. So it's a bit, but it is stackable. You've got Molly in the front, so you can attach two thick. Although, I think it would be better to get ones that are made to hold two already with just a piece of fabric in between so you reduce on overall girth. It's not a lot, but it can be noticeable and it can throw off your center of balance as far as climbing things, vaulting, and all that good stuff. So, it's got this fun little setup, a little knot tie here, so you can remove this or adjust it to make it fit other things. Holds nicely. And I've been using the cloth one for quite some time now, and it's absolutely fantastic. So, as you can see, the little nylon's got the grooves. Oh wow, that looks really weird on the camera screen. But yeah, it's got these little glue grooves, the same material on the back here. And it's, it's really well made. Like I said again, made in America. You got this little What's he wearing? Is that, that an army BDSU? So check out this nerd. With his gear and his rifle and everything. There, yeah, I do like that paper though. There will be blood. So as far as the detailing, that is irrelevant here on the thing that you'll first throw away. And I'll add to the great uh, garbage disposal of the, of, of the world. It's there. Though. There's nothing on the back. Pick this up at the uh, uniform sales not too long ago. But yeah, BDS Tactical Year. They also make my dump pouch. So pretty fantastic. All in all, I really like them. I was first introduced to them by... Red beard, and yeah, good stuff. So, as far as that goes, ugh, let's get to the good stuff. So, on the plate carry here, here is the original cloth one. As you can see, the material is different. They're stitching through the center of the webbing, and same concept here. Comfy little pull tab. And this was the cheaper eight dollar one that I don't even know if they sell anymore, but I thought it was absolutely amazing. Now, I've got only four mags on the front here, although the standard is eight because it gets too cumbersome, as I was mentioning by adding the single stackers. If I had one like, say, Tesla Gojira, where it's designed to hold two already, and it's a six setup, that would be fantastic for the front, as it'd remove maybe about that much girth, making it more streamlined and sleek. So, yeah. on the left side, right on the cummerbund, I have two magazine pouches. The first one facing upwards, because were it also facing down like this one, it'd be difficult to pull in a crouching or prone position. However, with it facing up, it is easily accessible. And this one, you can also place them upside down, which is what makes them fantastic, is it gives you a lot of mounting options. This one faced upside down, I don't have to reach as far back with my elbow high, so that I could reach down low and free the mag for a quick left-handed reload. So, options, options. Options are fantastic, and as long as you're streamlining your gear and not adding, say, shit you don't need, it's absolutely fantastic. So, they do sell these on BDS. Oh yeah, there it is, look, bdstacticalgear.com. So you can get these directly from the website. I think Amazon may or may not have them, but absolutely fantastic. So, if you've got a setup like mine where you already got three magazines in a uh, little kangaroo sort of pocket bungee setup, you can also add these to bring your total magazine count up to six, which is considered kind of like the more solid standard setup if you're going to be out and uh, firefighting for an extended period of time, whereas three is more of a uh, QRF, quick response for sort of get in there, fire off a few rounds, get everything taken care of within a few minutes. So that's all I really got for you guys on this review. There's not a whole lot of crazy things about it. I mean, if it's comfortably, these are actually fantastic. I don't really like the... Uh, the button closure ones, although it can't be helped in some situations, because the buttons generally never seem to want to click, and with these, all I have to do is flip it over and tug it inside the opposite way, and it comes right out, so easy install, easy removal. Pretty, pretty fantastic stuff, so highly recommended from me to you, and that's all I got for you guys, so I'll see you guys in the next review I do, probably be going on to uh, helmets and doing some filming with Tesla Gojira. 
which you should definitely check out his channel and the videos I'm going to be filming with him. I'll definitely have a link in the description below. There'll be one in this one. He's going to be doing a lot more gaming related stuff. He doesn't, uh, doesn't come out to play the, uh, the Pew Pew's Airsoft Life too often. But yeah, his gaming stuff is top notch, top tier, top kick. So everyone stay chivalrous. Hope you enjoyed this little review. That's all I got for you. If you have any questions, just message them down below. And uh, yeah, I know it's a magazine pouch with retention. There's only so much you can say about it. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. Cheers, everyone. Highly recommended.